Sean's in here with me. Sean's behind us in the JK. So, we've got a, a Jeep that slid off the edge of the road. I guess it's, it's not quite on its side, but it's close. Let's go see what happens. seen the picture it's not that bad it's muddy and the mud out here it looks dry but the moisture's underneath and it just slides it just turns to muck but we'll go in here we'll get an idea we'll get it pulled up out of there I don't think it's gonna be as bad I think the biggest problem is gonna be getting to it and getting in a position off of the main road onto this road. It says we got three miles to go. Continue on Agate Hills for two miles. Oh, never mind. I'll get it. Oh, I can help. I got this. There you go. Look at that upgrade. Now we don't have to kick nothing. We don't have to beat on nothing. We got us a fancy bungee cord installed. That, thanks to Mike. Mike was nice yeah. to yeah, install the bungee cord. So what's the story? These guys were out here scouting for the Jeep Safari? Yeah, so these guys are trail leaders and whatever, and they, they come out here and pre-run everything to make sure the trail's in good condition, there hasn't been any washouts from storms or anything, and just making sure they're familiar with it so that when they run it, everything goes smooth. Rory and the customer that called, I needed help. Wash out, remove said road.
vehicle there. Wild looking mud here. How is it? So here we are. Ooh, she is right on the edge. Yeah. All right. This mud doesn't look that bad, but it is. It feels slimy. Yeah. I gotta get. We, we gotta, gotta get, get something right here. I'm just trying to decide whether the truck or the jeep. Put a good pull on that. So we're gonna do a little lasso around the frame rail here. You in, Sean? Yeah. Now that we've got it held. We gotta get the next one up on the hill. Okay. We'll probably jump the truck to this one and the Jeep to right up there and pull both of them up. But I just gotta get the truck up high enough. <laughs> Hook it on the either the strap or the soft shackle. Okay. Probably the strap. Yep. And then we'll swap. Okay. Which one take off? This one? Alright, Sean, you wanna get in it? I mean, dumb questions, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, don't get any dirt on it, okay? <laughs> gotcha. Thank you, sir. You bet. If you want these back. <laughs> <laughs> you come back. Yeah. See you, Sean. I'm gonna try and pull it and slide into mine. Well, Bricks. Is it in gear? Yeah. Okay, he's got it. Let it roll a little. Okay, start it up. Reverse.
Oke. Okay. There we go, not so bad. <laughs> really? Yeah, oh yeah. Another day I work. <laughs> hey look, you even landed right by your boots over there. <laughs> there we go. I got the door for you. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, don't do that. <laughs> Alright, on the road again. <laughs> Hi, Mike. So, uh, the batteries have died in the controller. And the cable that connects it, when that fails, is also letting us down. So, we're gonna do it this way. So, shackle and all. Mike's got all this slop all over his hand. Here we go. It is magically sloppy. Oh. It's normal. You know what this calls for? Flashy lights? Unnecessary front dig. Oh, yes. So, I wanted it to pull up, but we were at such an angle because we should have been up here, but there's a hillside. Yeah. So, it wasn't ideal, but once we moved it, it was going. Right. So, we just had to keep pulling. It definitely went right where I didn't want it to go, but... Yeah, so it started up here, yeah. like front tires, back tires, yeah. come across. But all we could really do once we did that was just keep going. Because in order to reposition, it would have just went. It's cool terrain out here. Patrol officer right there, we're gonna slow down a little bit. <laughs>